Hello everyone. Welcome to this uh, practical GIS case study. I am going to be your instructor throughout this case study. Uh, my name is Afusin Wasalifu. I am an alumna of Kominkoma University of Science and Technology. I did BAC Land Economy and I graduated in 2013. I did my service with the Office of Administrator of Two Lands, a course in the Brown Half region. After my service, I work uh, with Community Land and Development Foundation from 2014 to 2016 as a programs officer. In 2016, I got a scholarship uh, to study MSc Geoinformation Science and Earth Observation for Land Administration at the University of Twente in the Netherlands. I successfully completed the MSc program uh, in March 2018. I came to Ghana uh, June 2018 and I was employed by Lands Commission as a Lands Officer in 2019. I'm currently working with Lands Commission uh, within the Land Information Unit. Uh, land Information Unit basically uh, deals with uh, designing, uh, implementation, management of all uh, geo-information systems uh, of the Lands Commission. So basically that is the mandate of the Land Information Unit. I'm also a Chartered Surveyor of Ghana Institution of Surveyors. Uh, in my spare time, I create videos concerning geographic information system. I have a YouTube channel named uh, Learn Reality Consult. So if you go to your uh, browser and you go to YouTube, you type Learn Reality Consult, you can subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about geographic information system and some other issues relating to uh, real estate stuffs. That is basically enough about myself. So today, as I indicated, we are going to have a practical uh, case study. Uh, this is a real world situation. And that will be centered on application of GIS for market analysis of real estate development projects. Uh, as I indicated, this case study is going to be practical. There's not going to be theory uh, involved. So let's get uh, started with the whole uh, case study. First of all, let us uh, see the objectives. Of the case study so at the end of this case study you should be able to confidently acquire special data for your project um, uh, you know we have two different types of uh, GIS data we have raster data and we have vector data and vector data is uh, data about uh, points lines polygons and then raster data is more about pixels and grid of images so after acquiring the data you should be also be able to uh, carry out some kind of analysis carry out some kind of analysis and then you should be also be able to draw charts using ArcGIS software so let's now go straight to our, our case study or the problem of the day, if you choose to call it that way. Um, case study. This is the first part of the case study. Land Reality Consorts wants to construct townhouses within airport residential area for rental purposes. Based on this, they want to know who are the real estate developers as competitors within a specific radius as well as the various land use types within the area. This information is essential for management to take an informed decision 
as to whether to embark on the residential housing project or not. This is one part of the, uh, the case study. So let's move to the second part of the case study. Alibaba has just been hired by Land Reality Consult as a GIS technician. During the briefing on his first day of work, he discovered that the Land Reality Consult exclusively works with geographic information system to acquire, store, and analyze all of its geographical data. Alibaba is quite unfamiliar with GIS so he will have to catch up quickly. That's why Alibaba not conversant with GIS tools. He was however tasked to collect and analyze spatial data to help management to arrive at a concrete decision as to whether to invest in the town housing project or to invest in another land use type. So that is the case study. So what is expected of Alibaba? Let's see what Alibaba is supposed to do with respect to this case study. At the end of this project, Alibaba is tasked to present the following deliverables to the management. One is that detailed processes of acquiring spatial data for the project. Step-by-step -step processes of acquiring spatial data for the project. And then map showing the list of all real estate developers within specific radius in the airport residential area. That is within a radius of 100 meters, within a radius of um, 200 meters, within a radius of 400 meters, uh, and within a radius of 500 meters, respectively. And then buy a uh, pie chart showing land use ties within the airport area. And the maps showing the various land use types within airport area. That is the a case study and then the deliverables that Alibaba is supposed to provide to the management uh, to help them to make a better decision as to whether to construct those houses or uh, to invest in other uh, land use types. So, what are some of the resources that you needed to execute this uh, uh, project? First of all, you need SRAGIS desktop. Um, you know, SRAGIS desktop, it is a, a proprietary uh, software, uh, meaning that you have to purchase the license to be able to use it. Uh, this software is really expensive. You can get it as high as uh, $5,000 uh, so it is really expensive but there are mostly uh, crack versions that are available on YouTube that you can go and download and install it and if you want one you can go to my uh, YouTube channel uh, Land Reality Consult when you go to Land Reality Consult homepage then click on videos and sort videos by popular so that it's one of my popular videos so that you can uh, see a step-by-step -step process guide concerning how to install ArcGIS desktop and then you also need a computer uh, then you need internet and you need basic computer skills and of course data so that is basically the end of this video this video is an introductory video that gives you an overview of the case study that we are going to um, do as well as resources that are needed to execute this project so our next video will be how to acquire spatial data for this project that is the processes that we need to follow and to acquire spatial data for this project and then the third video will talk basically about 
how to carry out analysis uh, of the data gathered. So the third video is more or less about analysis of the uh, project or case study. So thank you very much. Let's meet in the next video, the acquisition of data for our case study. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.